Hello, Internet. The Portland State Aerospace Society has made a tremendous amount of progress over the last year, despite COVID and murder hornets. This year, what we really need is help from you to literally reach space and to continue our progress as Portland's very own open source space program. This year, we're excited to announce that we have a one-to-one -one matching grant of up to $10,000. This doubles your support and the impact on our student space project. Here's a quick update on the progress we've made this last year on our strategic projects. You might remember that our Launch Vehicle 3 experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly at transonic speeds during our summer 2018 launch. Our new and improved airframe, LV3.1, is ready for flight in the Central Oregon desert this coming April. LV3.1 has a new coupling ring design and a refactored composite module stackup. After our April flight, we've got more plans for our new airframe. We're going to demonstrate control of the rocket by flying our new cold gas jet roll control system. Our propulsion team is finishing up our rocket engine test stand and we're getting ready to have a cold flow test during the winter break using water and liquid nitrogen. And then the spring, we'll have a hot fire test using liquid oxygen and isopropyl alcohol. We're proud to announce that we are one of only seven schools still participating in the Base 11 Space Challenge, a national competition to be the first university to send a liquid propelled rocket to the edge of space at 100 kilometers or 63 miles altitude. Not only do we do rockets, but we also have two satellites. Our first CubeSat, or Set Zero, is a technology demonstration mission to test all of the CubeSat technologies we've been developing. We're scheduled to be dropped off in low Earth orbit this summer by SpaceX Falcon 9. Orsat, our second satellite, is scheduled to hand off to NASA and be deployed from the International Space Station in spring 2022. Our open source satellite systems have gotten a lot of international attention, and we'll have two student papers on Orsat in the upcoming SciTech conference as well. Despite the pandemic, we're keeping up our STEM outreach to K-12 schools and community colleges. We participated in STEM Palooza, where we spoke to the Girl Scouts of Oregon and Southwest Washington about STEM-based opportunities in the aerospace industry, and are hosting an aerospace career day panel this month. We crowdfund all our rocket, rocket engines, and satellites, and we really need your help to continue as Oregon's student-led open source space program. Help get Oregon's first satellite to orbit and first rocket to space by contributing now. Don't forget, every dollar you donate will be doubled by our matching grant. Please click donate on our support page and help us get to space. Thank you.